When it comes to putting fans on a CPU cooler, there are three options. There's push, there's pull, and there's push-pull. Now, does it matter? Is there even a difference? Let's find out. What's up everyone, Eric here, and welcome to Hardware for Gamers. For those of you who are new to the channel, I mostly review and test PC cases, CPU coolers, and PC case fans. So if that is a kind of thing that you like, maybe hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It does help out a lot. My plan for this video is try to quickly test and show the differences between push, pull, and push, pull. And I guess actually to see or to show if there is a difference at all. So yes, this video is geared more towards the people that are new to PC building. Now that's not to say that someone who's experienced with PC building won't actually learn something because once you actually start testing and doing weird stuff, you can actually learn new and cool things. I'm going to start off with an air cooler. Now, if I have time, I would like to also try out an AIO. I think I should have time. It's just testing an AIO does take a fair bit of time. So rather than me just wasting time here talking, maybe I should actually start testing things. Okay, so I have my 3900 XT on here, so I'll be running the 150 watt test. Uh, for an air cooler, it takes about 10-ish minutes to hit equilibrium to then know what the max temperature actually is. So, be back in about 10 minutes to talk. Hopefully it's not picking up the fans all that much. So, uh, it's been just under 10 minutes and the test is finishing up. Uh, so, I'll flash up the final whatever here. So, it's an average CPU temperature at steady state of 81.1 C. And the room temperature right now is 22.1 or 22.2 C. So, I guess I should also do a quick DBA test. I guess I should have done that before testing. Okay, give me a sec. And that's when the batteries in my lab mic died. And I didn't realize until I went back and checked the footage. So here I am the next day to go through what happened in the testing. So the thing is, I did actually come across a few interesting things in my testing. Starting off with the tower cooler. As I suspected, the temperatures for push and pull were the same. But there was a difference in the DBA. Not a huge difference but a noticeable one. And this is because the pole had a much different pitch. It had a much higher pitch, which I could see it annoying some people. Now, of course, the push-pull config gave the lowest temperature, but was also the loudest. Jumping over to the AIO testing, and again, I got some interesting results. Pull was both quieter and cooler than push, which was definitely not expected. The differences were not substantial, but they were and are repeatable. And again, the push-pull configuration was the coolest, but again, was also the loudest. So what have we learned? We've learned that there is a difference between push and pull. Not a substantial difference, but a repeatable one. So based off these results, if you have a tower cooler, you should probably have it in the push configuration. But if you have an AIO or radiator, having it in the pull configuration seems to be best. For why this is, is likely because of the shape and size of the fins. But my understanding of fluid dynamics is not adequate to explain what's going on here. Sorry about that. Well, that's all I got for this one. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And some of you may have noticed I actually have a new chair. It is a new house. I think that's the way you pronounce it anyways. Uh, there will be a first impression slash review coming very soon. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. Also follow me on Twitter at HFG underscore YT. There's also the HFG Discord server. It is completely free to join. All you have to do is agree to the server rules. There is a link down in the description. And as always, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.